Kids right now, especially Gen Alpha kids, which are kids under the age of 10, they see gender very differently. They experience gender very differently. It's a perfect time to introduce this new doll line that is truly gender neutral. Introducing Creatable World, a doll line designed to keep labels out and invite everyone in. The whole objective of this doll is eliminating all the adult labels that we put on it. From the kids, they did not want their toys to be labeled. They don't want rules set around their play. And what we heard from parents was an increasing concern about genderizing toys. This will be really challenging for a population of people. We will challenge people's points of view about how they think boys and girls should play. So it's so funny, parents often tell me that they want to raise their boys to be really wonderful fathers. How do we expect to raise wonderful, nurturing fathers if we don't encourage nurturing play when they're boys? So Barbie was created 60 years ago. The benefits of playing with dolls, interestingly, has not changed throughout the decades. It's always been about storytelling and imagination, self-expression, it looked just like me. It looked cool. Yeah. It's important that kids of all different types can see themselves reflected in culture and media and especially in the toys that they play with. We are welcoming all kids to play with it and they're in charge of the stories that they want to tell and the characters that they want to create. That is a powerful thing for a child. Like how you can like change the hair and stuff and it can be this to in creating this doll, what's important was the gender neutrality of the body. We worked a lot in the shape of the face, a clean, youthful, no makeup face. And we have options for short hair or long hair. And then even stepping into the accessories and the clothes that come, everything from jeans to skirts to tennis shoes, and a palette of colors that are welcoming to all. Anytime you're doing something new and different, it's challenging. But that's part of the process, and it's actually um, amazing for a designer to, to come up against things that make us maybe question our own direction. The first iteration was a little bit more feminine with the sequins, the skirt. After research and testing, we evolved from the design of the clothing and the toy to be more gender inclusive. For example, the waistband on these pants, once you remove it, the way it looks is fairly feminine but with the waistband, it looks a little bit more gender neutral. And the design of the dolls, we went on this big exploration throughout the United States. So we went to 250 families. A lot of parents knew that this is the wave of the future. This is where society is heading and they wanna be on board on it. They just don't have the tools or the knowledge to kind of guide their child. Um, what we found is that most of the kids are guiding the conversation anyway. We know what happens when kids feel limitations or we place limitations on a child's identity. I imagine that a lot of people are going to be so delighted and relieved to have dolls that they could present to their kids that look like them or could look like their friends or could open up more possibilities for their play. And I imagine that this will be really challenging for a population of people. This conversation around gender and doll play, I don't expect it to be easy, but I know it's important. And I believe that a company like Mattel taking the risk to have this conversation is important.